All right, you guys. So today we are going to get a special look at the Star Wars Millennium Falcon Smugglers Run vehicle, guys. So we're going to get a look at this vehicle. Very awesome. It is in a very, very large box. So please forgive me if I'm not able to keep the box in the frame, but we will get started with the box. So getting a look at the box in its vintage style, we have the Star Wars logo with the Star Wars banner wrapped around the box. We have the illustration of the vehicle, Millennium Falcon, Hondo, Anaka, figure, Chewie, and then of course we also have a couple of Porgs as well. Uh, the containers that we see pictured on the box, I've been told, are not included. Now I'm not 100% sure about that. That's something that I kind of saw online in passing but I haven't seen any reviews or anything of that nature. This is a full unboxing of this particular vehicle here today, guys. So we have our Kenner logo. We have the uh, Star Wars New Hope and Smuggler's Run. You have the option of putting the round dish on the vehicle as opposed to the rectangular dish that I'm assuming it's already going to be uh, connected on the vehicle when we pull it out. So uh, very cool stuff. Then we also have the Galaxy's Edge Trading Post logo right here. Very, very cool. Lovely background of Batu, Galaxy's Edge in the background. And then on the side of the box, we have more illustrations of the vehicle with Hondo, Chewie. We also have the game table. Uh, in the lounge part of the vehicle. We also have the gunner's seat as well. In the third illustration, you have your Star Wars logo, Millennium Falcon, Smuggler's Run, and the Kenner logo. On the other side of the box, again, we have three other illustrations, one with Chewie at the controls of the Falcon. We also get a look at the back of the Falcon and the engines as they are lighting up. And then we also get a look at Hondo inside of the escape pod that is included in your falcon vehicle very very cool stuff there guys and then again we have our star wars logo millennium falcon smugglers run kenner logo just underneath that for the bottom of the box again we have the illustrations of the front projectile missiles that are included with your vehicle so you do have projectile missiles on this vehicle and then of course you also have the storage compartment where we see that uh, Chewie has stashed himself away as they did in A New Hope. Underneath that illustration, you have your Kenner logo, Hasbro logo, some of your readables as well off to the side. Top and back side of the box, you have the same exact illustration as you do on the front. So very cool look at the box, guys. What do you say we go ahead and pull this big baby out of the box, get a look at the detail and all of the features on this particular vehicle. And then as always guys, we are going to put this vehicle in a very cool diorama. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so pulling the contents out of the box, we have our Hondo Anaka figure. We also have Chewie and his weapon. We have our Porgs. We have what looks to be our floorboards, the landing gear for our vehicle. We have our two front pieces and dishes, the main body of the vehicle itself. Very awesome. And then we have our escape pod stickers and instructions. So lots of work to do guys. So stay tuned while I put this together. All right, guys, so we have our Falcon out of the box, all put together, stickers included. And uh, the sticker did give me a little bit of a problem, 
Uh, but we'll get to that in just a moment. But let's get a look at the Falcon. Now, I actually do have the BMF Falcon, the first version of the Legacy Falcon. Uh, however, it is still sealed in its box and I just could not bring myself to take it out of the box for a comparison here, guys, today. So I do apologize for that, but this one I definitely wanted to take out of the box and get a look at. Uh, I've never had an opportunity actually to get a firsthand look of the Falcon uh, up close. Uh, so this is actually my first time and this thing is absolutely massive. Let's get a look at this particular vehicle here today, guys. So getting you guys a look at the Falcon and all of the wonderful detail and weathering that they provided to us on this vehicle. Now, my assumption is the BMF did not come with such weathering. Uh, I'm assuming that it came a little clean, but lately Hasbro, through the vintage collection, has been offering us some really, really cool weathering on our vehicles. And it looks like the Falcon is just another example of that blast marks there, carbon scoring, absolutely cool. So really, really nice job. One thing I noticed with the cockpit, um, the hatch of the cockpit doesn't seal close all the way. And um, in addition to the BMF, I also have uh, parts of another BMF that I use for diorama pieces. And I just so happen to have a, a cockpit of the Falcon. And I noticed with that one, uh, it's the same deal where the uh, hatch just doesn't seal correctly. So seeing it here on the vehicle out of the box like that uh, explains a lot um, for me. So I just happened to notice that as well. And as you can see, I did apply the stickers as best as I could. But as you can see, you have a couple of new stickers. You have Hondo Anaka on the uh, computer screen there. So that's cool. And look at some of the other stickers. And a detailed look on the inside. And then on the other side, you have other, the other stickers as well. So very, very nice detail. And then on the underside of the hatch, you have additional stickers there as well. Your Falcon does come with several different figures. The first being Hondo Anaka. And then of course you also get Chewie as well. And then you get six Porgs. And a couple have uh, a different color variation than others. I guess I'm assuming maybe the ones with the full color face are male and the ones with the white face are female. I'm not sure. Um, whatever the case may be, you get two with the full orange face and four with the white face. So I'm not sure if anyone knows that that's uh, gender specific in regards to the color difference or why that is, uh, put that down in the comments. Not sure why that is. But again, you do get a very cool Hondo, Anaka, and Chewy. They look very, very nice and we will get a closer look at those two. So starting off with uh, Chewie here, uh, looks really, really good. Yeah, some very, very nice detail, especially in the face sculpt. It just looks really, really nice in the face. So that's awesome. Yeah, some great detail in the fur, different color variations of uh, light brown to dark. So that's real nice. Uh, one of the things that I'm 
I, I, I don't know, that bothers me a little bit is um, the molding of the fur right there on the arm. So if you twist the, the arm, the hand around, now the, the arm does twist along with it. So you can always match it up, but it can look awkward at times. Um, so I'm not sure how they could have done that or just looks a little weird that the hand, but I guess they had no choice because the hand needs to be articulated. So just looks a little weird, but very, very cool figure in regards to articulation. Your Chewie is going to go straight out like so. He's going to give you an elbow bend that goes back about that far and he will do a 360 in the arm. So that's very cool. Your arm articulation is absolutely awesome. He can raise his arm all the way up or all the way out to the side. So Chewie gives you a very, very awesome T-pose. You have a couple of twists here, a twist in the elbow, as well as a twist in the wrist. In the leg area, your Chewie is gonna go straight out for you, like so. It's gonna give you a knee high it goes up about that far and then he's going to go back only about that far but that's to be expected with any chewy that you receive and then your twist is going to be at the knee with your chewy and the foot chewy is going to go down for you like so it's going to go up like so so that's really good in the ab area chewy is going to go down for you about that far back about that far and there is a really good range in the ab area. In the head area, you, you do get a twist in the head area, but because of the fur, he's not gonna get past his bandolier there. So you're gonna have to work with the upper twist of the torso for the head to get that range in the head. Really cool articulation with your vintage collection Chewbacca. And then Chewie does also come with his bow rifle. It is uh, just a matte black, no additional paint apps on it. So with your Hondo Anaka, uh, he looks really cool. Lovely detail. We did get an announcement that we would receive this figure in the vintage collection. Those of us who ordered the Smuggler's Run Millennium Falcon are getting an early preview of that figure. I love the detail and the weathering on the uh, forearm armor and the nice little metal looking piece, gold metal piece on the jacket. Just everything looks good, belt buckle. Very, very nice looking figure. Getting you guys a look at the head scope. It's a really, really good head scope. Very, very nicely done. You can see the eyes and even the sunkenness of the face. Just looks really, really awesome. Nice detail all the way around with your Hondo Anaka figure. Very, very cool. So for articulation, your Hondo Anaka is gonna give you a straight arm like so. It's gonna give you an elbow bend. It goes back about that far. And then you do have the 360 all the way around in the shoulder. Very cool. Your Hondo is gonna give you a very, very lovely T-pose. That is very awesome. Your twist is going to be at the elbow. And then you have a twist at the wrist as well. In the leg area, your Hondo is going to kick out pretty far, about that far. It's going to give you a knee high that's about that far. It's going to go back about that far. Your kick out to the side is about that far with your Hondo Anaka. You have a twist at the thigh. So there's a twist at the thigh in the foot area. Your Hondo is going to go down for you about that far, up about that far. There's a rocker as well in the foot area. The ab, he's gonna go down about that far, back 
about that far, left to right, turn in the torso, good range of motion all the way around in the torso. The head area, your hondo is gonna go down that far, looks up about that far. You have very good left to right. And there is a little bit of the head nod as well. So excellent articulation with your Hondo Anaka vintage collection figure. Hondo does come complete with his side weapon, his side pistol. Again, just a solid matte black pistol. No other paint apps were applied to the weapon. And then of course he has his holster. As you can see, the weapon stores very nicely in his holster. Very, very cool stuff. So additional accessories for your Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run vehicle is the rectangular dish, uh, the replacement dish for the round dish. So I chose to go with the uh, original dish versus the rectangular. Uh, but as you can see, the rectangular dish is very nicely weathered, looks really, really good. And uh, at any time, if I wish to update it to the sequel trilogy, I can always do so with the rectangular dish. So getting you guys a look on the inside of the first panel. Very, very cool. And the uh, top panel does come off, as you can see. We have our gunner's chair right there, which is absolutely cool. And we'll see if we can get a figure in there so you guys can see what it looks like. In the gunner's chair, so you have Han Solo in the gunner's chair. I had a hard time getting him in there because it's just such a small space. But there he is in the gunner's chair. And then we have the hallway that leads to where the uh, chess table is at. And we also have another doorway here. And these doors do open. And it leads to another compartment. So inside the other compartment where you can store figures, have someone lay down. Um, and then beyond that is the battery compartment, I believe. A smuggler's compartment. So you have a smuggler's compartment in there where you can store or smuggle whatever you wish. Very cool. And then you also have the doorway to the cockpit as well. Again, you have a new sticker that features Hondo Anako in the Falcon. So that is really, really cool. So the second part of the opening or the second compartment that opens up on your Falcon is right around the dish. And you have to be careful because you have to get it around the dish and the top gun of the Falcon. But you remove that piece as well. And it exposes the, pretty much the lounge area, if you will, of the Falcon. And you have the uh, computer terminal where we saw Han in A New Hope. And then of course we have, again, the chess table and bench. Uh, we also have a couple of doors as well, but those doors lead to the to the escape pod. So those doors are not articulated; they're just for show. You have another smuggler's port there, and we'll get a look at that. And then we also have Luke's training ball as well that is on a swivel. And uh, we'll get a look at that feature 
in just a moment. So you have a knob here that you would twist to operate the ball. So when you twist the knob, you can move the training ball back and forth. Now it does hang low, so you might want to adjust the string a bit, kind of tie a knot so it sits up a little bit higher if you're gonna have a diorama of Luke on the training ball. And then of course the knob also operates the dish as well. So you get movement on the dish as well. But again, you have the chess table and the chess pieces. And the uh, chess pieces kind of fit into the little holes that are on the chessboard so you can get them to stand. But I love the detail in the uh, bench there. You get a lot of little dirt and grime until the Falcon hasn't been cleaned in a millennium. Getting you guys a look at the chessboard as it lights up. <laughs> And then again, our trap door here. So we remove the door. Again, you have plenty of smuggling space to smuggle your coaxium or whatever it is, your spice, whatever it is that you're looking to smuggle. I'm getting you guys a look on the inside with the figures. You have plenty of pegs for your figures. And you can get Chewy to sit on the bench. It's kind of a tough fit, but he can do it. So another very cool feature on the Falcon is your escape pod. So to get there, you simply open and as you can see it makes a noise when you open it up and you lift it all the way up and you pull the additional spacecraft out and it again makes another noise as you pull it out and you have your additional transport that comes with weapons, as you can see. And the, the weapons can retract back and forth, and that's for both sides. And then you also have a projectile. And that projectile, the, the button for it, is in the back right there. And to get you a look at the projectile, very, very cool stuff there, guys. So the transport does, does fit one figure on the inside and you pull it from the top and there's your figure on the inside very cool and when he's ready to go just snap it tight and you're good to go and then when you're ready to redock back to the Falcon you just simply reinsert the transport back inside when done properly you should hear So once you got it inside, you have that sound effects that let that let you know that the craft has docked. And then you lower your door. And once the door closes, you get another sound effect letting you know that the door has closed. All right, guys. So let's talk weapons and lights and sounds for your Falcon. So let's start with the weapons. You have the top gun here at the very top and it has a couple of features on it there is a button a slide switch if you will and what that button does is when you slide it back and forth it also 
So as the cannon is sliding back and forth, there's two little knobs, as you can see right here, and one on the other side. And as it slides back and forth, when you slide the <laughs> It shoots off the uh, projectile. The cannon is adjustable, so you can move it up and down. So really, really cool stuff. So the Falcon also features front projectiles, as you can see right here. And there are three buttons right here to shoot those projectiles off. So let's get a look at those projectiles, guys. Very cool range, very, very awesome feature. So just underneath the Falcon, there is another, there is another projectile weapon. You simply pull it down and then I don't know if you guys can see it but there is a there is a little button right here that allows you to shoot off the projectile and let's get a look at that very very cool and then when you're done it slides right back up and out of the way so Let's get a listen to some of the sound effects with your Millennium Falcon. There are uh, two buttons here and three other buttons on the other side. So we're going to start with the two buttons here and see what they do. Hey, 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 we are on a timetable here. Chewbacca, what is the holdup? So you have Hondo talking to Chewbacca there. Oh, wait, 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 my friends. I'm afraid we have picked up a hitchhiker. All right. Scan the exterior of the Falcon for light bulbs. And, and that's very cool because that's straight from the Smuggler's Run ride for the Millennium Falcon. So that's cool. You have Chewie and a couple of droid noises there. So that's about three different sound effects right there. <laughs> Okay, very cool. So that's our fourth sound effect. All right, my friends. We are cleared for takeoff. All right, we got Hondo again. So that's five. All five. Pre-flight diagnostics report. <laughs> cool. So that's, uh, I think that's six. So you have about seven different sound effects off of that one button. Let's get a listen to the other button here. <laughs> the last thing I want is to let another rod loose in here. So that second button gives you two different sound effects. It gives you one voicing of Hondo Anaka talking about letting a Raftar loose. And the uh, second one is just simple engine noises. So that's what uh, the two buttons there, those are the sound effects that uh, they provide for. So you. as I mentioned on the other side, you have three other buttons there for sound effects and other features. I'm not sure what each one of these does. So let's see what these three buttons are gonna do for us here. Fire the harpoons. So you have Hondo again. Now let's go get that coaxium. And you have Hondo once again. Evasive maneuvers. Battle sound effects, which is absolutely awesome. R5, damage report. <laughs> Weapons are online. <laughs> Get that first, old scum. More battle noises with Hondo Anako's voiceover. Giving you the startup engine and lights for your Falcon.
So what that button also does is light up the front lights as well. So here we have probably one of the best features of this particular vehicle, which is the ramp for our Millennium Falcon. And you have a button right here. And when you press that button, you have the ramp that comes down plus the lights that shine down from the ramp. So that is absolutely cool. When you wanna put the ramp back up, it doesn't go up automatically. You kinda of have to push it up and snap it back into place. So there you have it guys, your Smuggler's Run Millennium Falcon BMF vehicle 
a really cool vehicle. Even though I haven't had an opportunity to open my original BMF Millennium Falcon, I can still see that there are some slight differences between the two different versions of this Millennium Falcon. I also see that there are some QC issues that they still have not uh, taken care of. For example, the canopy for the cockpit still does not close as it should. Um, however, you do on this particular version get very nice weathering uh, throughout the vehicle. Uh, I think that's probably one of the major differences. Uh, this time around, decided to uh, give us more of a weathered look uh, on your Falcon, uh, which I can always appreciate. And then of course you have the different voices uh, on this particular version of the Falcon. Uh, all of the voiceovers pretty much are Hondo Anako. Uh, of course you do have a few other voiceovers from Chewie and then a couple of droid noises as well. Battle sounds, lights, action, absolutely awesome vehicle. So if you missed this vehicle the first time around, uh, this would be a great opportunity to pick up this vehicle. Now it is uh, a bit expensive. It is about $400 US, um, but again, this, by many collectors is considered a holy grail vehicle. And uh, again, if you have not picked up uh, the original BMF, uh, you might wanna go ahead and pick up this version, just so uh, you'll know that you'll have at least one version of this very massive and beautiful vehicle. So uh, guys, let me know what your thoughts are. Have you picked up the Smuggler's Run Millennium Falcon, or did the $400 price tag kind of scare you off? Let me know and put those comments down below. Please like and subscribe. And of course, guys, from the father. to the sun, to the Obi-Wan Force Ghost. May the Force be with you, always.